We'll start with the Biloxi girls taking on Tupelo. Biloxi defeated Northwest Rankin to clinch their spot in the semifinals. Chenille Corpus was brilliant, gets the Lady Indians going, lays it in for two. She has been spectacular all season long for Biloxi. She gets her own offensive board and puts it back up and in to give Biloxi the eight to nothing early lead. Tupelo though, they would get back to back threes. First from Audrey Houston, and then it's Nadia Norfleet. Tupelo showing that they belong here in this game as well. They would take the lead right before the halftime break. Corpus gets inside, earns the tough and one. Biloxi down 24 to 23 at the break. Fourth quarter action now. Michaela Riley from deep gives her side a 10 point advantage. Back to back steals from Amari Meredith gets Biloxi back in it, but they would just not complete the comeback in the end. Tupelo advances to the title game by way of a 56 to 45 win over the Lady Indians. And now to the Harrison Central girls who took on Germantown for the third consecutive year in the state semifinals. Winner will take on Tupelo in the state championship game on Saturday. Lady Mavs get on the board first. Alana Rouser goes up and under the hoop, lays it in for two. The Red Replets down six. Decaria Wall absorbs contact, grabs her own miss, cuts the deficit to four. And then later on, it's Larissa Hubbard doing a little bit of the same working in the paint, picks up the and one. That was a common theme for Harrison Central. Rihanna Anderson feeling like the only girl in the world gets her own and one as well. However, the Lady Mavs would get a uh, better end of it at the end of the half on a high note. Madison Booker drains the trifecta to cushion a five point halftime lead. Into the fourth, Harrison Central hanging around. Janiah Smith drills the triple to cut the deficit to four. Germantown just seemed to have an answer all night. Booker with another three. Germantown comes out ahead 46 to 35 and they'll take on Tupelo Saturday.